It's our fourth day in London and we're kind of already missing Singapore food. So that's why I did some research. I found the best and the most popular restaurant in London. This restaurant specializes in Singapore food and it's also a restaurant that was featured on Uncle Roger's YouTube channel. So let's see if it's good or not. All right, we found it. So that's it. It's called Mei Mei and it's inside a very touristy market called the Borough Market. So it's not going to be cheap. I'm, I'm kind of scared. So I guess we order from this little display here. So it's like a street food style restaurant. So I think there's no service charge, which is very good. Let's check out the menu. Start from the mains. Hello, $8.50 for a chicken rice. That's times two. So 17 Singapore dollars. <laughs> Holy cow! The nasi lemak is slightly more expensive, 11.50 pounds. Wow. And oh, I have kaya toast, 8.50 lei. I think I'm about to faint. Also got beer. Why no tiger beer? Oh, they even got chicken curry. Okay, we gotta try the nasi lemak too. So the total is 28.50 pounds. Okay, finish ordering. Uh, to be honest, the chicken doesn't look that nice, but uh, I have a lot of respect. I'm so happy to see Singapore cuisine at a uh, Baru market, you know? So I don't know if the food is good or not, but already, I, I praise them. Thank you. While we're waiting for our food, a big shout out and thank you to Bakusu for sponsoring this video and continue to support this channel. Bokusu is a curated snack subscription service where they send you a box every single month. And these are everything I got inside my box and it's really nicely packaged. And most snacks are quite difficult to find abroad and every month you get something different. So you won't receive the same box. It's nice that it also comes with a booklet, which you can learn more about the snack so it's not just like eating nice food you're also learning about the culture Bokusu makes such a perfect gift for anyone in your life who appreciates Japanese snacks and culture especially during a time where people can't really travel and actually not only you will be able to gift someone Bokusu you would technically be gifting them a chance to win free tickets to Japan because Bokusu is having a giveaway right now use my code GIFT10 to get 10% off your order and save up to $47 link in the description box below okay let's try out some Singapore food all right it's here this is the chicken rice and the nasi lemak. Okay, I think we gotta start out with the Hainanese chicken rice. So this is 8.5 pounds, which is like $17. So um, it might seem steep, but I think this is London price. Um, if you consider uh, other spots being more expensive at Boru Market, I think it's actually a good price. Mm. So this is how it looks like. Uh, it looks quite authentic, right? What do you think? Not bad, right? So we got juicy looking chickens and I believe this is the, the ginger. Ginger sauce, of course. Chili sauce is very important in Singapore. So below we have, oh, okay. The traditional cucumbers, uh, white onions and corianders. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Itadakimasu. Wow, look at this. The chicken, it looks very juicy and tender. You know, this is so cool because it's my first time having chicken rice in a cold climate. <laughs> you know, it feels so weird. I'll try the chicken first. Itadakimasu. Mmm! That's actually pretty good. Wow. I feel like it's, it has more flavor. It, it's like more marinated maybe. Okay, so the rice is also very important. You need that chicken broth flavor. It needs to be fragrant. Mmm! Oh! Again, very flavorful. It might be localized, you know. The flavor is very strong, but too bad the rice is kind of mushy. I like it more fluffy and stuff, right? It's, it's kind of mushy. Okay, let's try the chili. And the chili, I feel like it's way redder, right? It's yeah. bright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they they use a different type of chili. I'm chili to use chili. That's very different. It's good though. Spicy, sweet. I'm trying to describe where the difference comes from. It's extremely garlicky. I think they put some kind of um, sriracha sauce. And this is the ginger sauce, which looks very nice. Yeah, yeah. Mmm. Oh. Wow. I like that. Mmm. Overall, this is really nice chicken rice. I cannot believe it. I mean, you're paying like how, how many times more? This is like 20 Singapore dollars. Yeah, four, five, six times more than Singapore, but the quality 
it's there and it's very authentic. Let's try the dark soy sauce. And some of the chili. And also some of the ginger. Uh, this is gonna be the ultimate bite. <laughs> oh. Mm. No. That's how you eat a chicken rice. Delicious. I'm super happy so far. This is like really nice, like Singapore quality, Singapore standard. I don't even know if we have such a nice chicken rice in Japan. This is great. I think the dark soy sauce is sweet sauce. Feels a bit weird. But it's quite nice, it's not bad. If I live here, I might come here to eat. Okay, next, the nasi lemak. So this is also a very popular dish in Singapore. And it really looks kind of different, right? Is it the chicken? Like, I don't think nasi lemak look like this in Singapore. What's the difference? It's a chicken, right? It's like a cutlet. No bone, yeah, 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 no bone. And I noticed the egg, look at it. It's soft here. And they did it the traditional way. You can see they deep fried everything. And the chili looks nice here. And this looks, okay, unusual too. Are these peanuts? They don't look like this though, do they? In Singapore? The nuts are bigger, yeah. So interesting, right? Oh, but we got the ikan bili too, but also the ikan bili looks so big, huh? This is London, UK size. <laughs> UK size ikan bili, voila. Three, two, one. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I'll start from mixing everything. Got that beauty. Again, something different, but it's good. Okay, this one's so interesting. The chicken's different, the chili's different. I never had nasi lemak like this in Singapore. Let me, let me try the chicken first. We gotta try one by one. It's kind of confusing. The chicken, very crispy, very light. But if it's dry, maybe they use breast and the batter is definitely different. It feels like it's Taiwanese style, kind of. You want to give it a shot? Mm -hmm. no. Oh, I think like lacking in spices. Yeah, yeah, maybe like turmeric or something. How about the rice? Mmm, so, oh, the rice is nice. It's fluffy. Mmm, got that coconut aroma. It's better than the chicken rice. I mean, this is good. But I think it's not something you want to order if you miss the authentic taste, right? Something different. Yeah, the chicken rice is definitely more authentic. And the ikan midis are kind of scary, too big. And lastly, we're trying the curry chicken. Oh man, I miss curry chicken. And okay, again, first glance, I can tell it's kind of different. Number one, the, the potatoes, they didn't peel off the skin and they put it in whole sizes, you know? They don't cut it. Uh, but everything else looks pretty standard. But normally, I think we wouldn't put tomatoes in cilantro. Yeah, but oh, look at the chicken. Wow, looks pretty tender. See, it falls off the bone. It comes off so easily. All right, let's give it a shot. 33. Wow. That's delicious. Wow, the curry. Mm, so creamy, coconutty. So good, so comparable to even some of the hawker stalls in Singapore. And wow, this is huge. They have. Whoa, whoa. Very sad. But check it out. The chicken is huge. I didn't notice it. It was hiding beneath. And we got five giant potatoes. Can I try the potatoes? Mm. Wow. The potatoes, too. It kind of popped. The skin popped. Okay, next I'm gonna eat everything together. Mm. Wow. Okay, but I have to note that it's, it's on the sweet side. I think they put more sugar. It obviously lacks the curry sauce, the curry gravy. It's already gone. <laughs> they have to put more, but the, the flavor is pretty nice. Yeah, it's definitely on the sweet, sweet side. Yeah. Not the flavor though. But it's nice, ah, nice. Nice, right? Yeah. It, like, if you miss Singapore, then you can come here and eat. It, it tastes like a home. Lunch. But you know what? I like the cilantro. I think it matches perfectly with, with the curry chicken. Is that kaya? Yeah. Wow, nice. <laughs> Homemade. Okay, we just finished all the food. Uh, our verdict is delicious. The curry chicken and nasi lemak was not really authentic. I think they added some British twist. I'm not really sure, but the chicken rice was very authentic, delicious. Uh, definitely recommend it if you miss Singapore food in London. But I will have to point out that the price is 
very steep. I, I mean, if you compare it to Singapore, I paid around like 30 pounds, so that's like 60 Singapore dollars. But still, really nice, and we're still hungry, so we're gonna get some more food. Okay, yeah. Great, thank you. Where are you from? We're from Singapore. From Singapore. Yes. Wow. <laughs> you have good food in Singapore, though. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Chak Hoi Tao, you know Chak Hoi Tao? Chak Hoi Tao, oh, you know. Are you like living in London? Yeah, I like it. You yeah, like it's it? a great city, huh? Took a lot of getting used to, though. The, right. the pace, you know. Alright. There you go, huh? The rind is like quite meaty flavored, you know? Quite savory. Really? Delicious, huh? Come in now, huh? Have a great time in London, guys, huh? Thank you so much. Okay, see you again. Have huh? a good day. Bye, Thanks. guys. Whoa. Oh, let's try this. Oh, it's quite nice. Okay, this one we always wanted to try. So it's the Brooklyn cheese. And look at how <laughs> stringy and cheesy this is. Wow. This is so beautiful. And below the cheese, we got some uh, potatoes and a side of small pickles. Mmm. Wow. Wow. That is cheesy. Mm, and the crispy part. Wow, this part, right? This part got the direct fire, right? That's why it's so crispy, so fragrant. Mm. And it's very strategic, strategic that they give you these uh, small pickles because you need that to cut off the excessive cheesiness. Can I get a half pint of medium of the cider? Next up, we got an apple cider. Uh, the alcohol content is 7%, so it's quite high, but the price is good, 2.7 pounds, which is like $5. Mmm, wow. Spicy. Oh, very strong. But like, once you put it into your mouth, like, you got that almost floral apple scent bomb. Does that make sense? Wow, I love this. I, I love how you can swim it in your mouth, and you get that nice aroma. Nice kick of the apple cider. Okay, to finish off the video, I got some craft beer called Dia. And this is like 6.2 pounds, so 12 Singapore dollars. It's super delicious. Hoppy, fruity, got that orange peel, citrusy. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Definitely check out Bokusu, you can get 10% off if you use my code GIB10. See you guys again. Have a good day, bye.